All right. <clears throat> this is going to be the start of what I hope to be the full Cheshire Cat guitar lesson. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. Um, a lot of them will might not sound perfect, but that's it's how I like to play it. Um, I mean, you know, that whole thing. I'm not going to try and talk too much. Um, this is the new guitar. I I may have put up another video at this point uh, of this video being watched by all of you. Um, I might have another video up already of this guitar. I'm not sure yet, but if you haven't seen it, um, it's pretty sweet. I just got it off eBay um, not long ago. Um, and it already came with the stripe on it. It's pretty cool. It's only a sticker though, so hopefully it stays on pretty well. Um, I did change out the pit guard for just a plain black one, and I put on um, the uh, Freemason symbol um, stickers. If they, they are actually stickers, but they're vinyl. They're supposed to stay on really well. If you want a link to them, uh, you can find them on eBay, or if you want the link, I can send you it. Um, and I also changed the bridge because the bridge is pretty old and kind of crappy. So um, I'm just going to start now. Um, oh, also, I was going to change this to a black pickup to make it look exactly like um, Tom's old like Pop Disaster Tour era um, slash um, boxcar racer. Um, Strat um, around 2002 ish, but I, I really do like the way this one looks. It gives it a little bit more. Um, it's more of like a focal point, I guess, to for uh, the guitar. I don't know, but enough talking. I'm probably talking way too much already. Um, starts off with guitar. Um, the tabs online that I found for this, I don't really like, but this is how I play it. It goes like this. <laughs> Um, a lot of tabs online will say it does something like something like that and personally I don't hear that I hear the bass playing that quick part the when I'm just playing the chord I, I hear the bass playing this it might be in there but if you want to do that I mean you certainly can but I think it sounds better like this it gives a little more um, difference so like the bass isn't playing exactly what the guitar is playing and the guitar sounds like a little heavier in parts it's it's more accented i think it sounds a little better so slower it goes like this basically that little uh that stays the same the whole time. All you're doing is just changing the chords. So um, the four chords being, and that's actually the pattern for um, a lot of the parts in the song. And then just that little part is really simple. It just goes a, a four, a five, and then down to a two on all on the D string. And then it goes to whatever chord it is. So you shouldn't have too much uh, trouble with that. I will have the tab for the song up. should be right below. If not, then I'm definitely working on it and trying to get it up as fast as possible. Um, after you play that like two times, um, it goes to... And it rings out so that the bass can actually do um, more or less the intro that they do live now. Um, or like the Mark Tom and Travis show version where it just starts off with the little bass intro. That whole thing. Um, and then slowly um, the guitar will build up and it just plays this. Um, you could play um, muted or not. I think it sounds a little bit better muted because um, pretty much the guitar on the album sounds a little kind of crappy. So I don't think he is palm muting it, but I think it sounds closer if I do personally, depending on your amp you might have like a heavier guitar sound or not. So um, after that builds up, it goes into what I'm gonna call the verse, like the first verse riff. It just goes like this. Just four simple chords, just all power chords. Shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Or you could play it like this. 
it's up to you really um and then it goes into like the popular riff of the song um i'm gonna break it down into two parts um one part that's mostly on the a string or completely on the a string and one that's all pretty much on the d string so it goes like this <laughs> first part and the second part goes like this there are different ways you can play those riffs to make um, instead of like going all over uh, from say like the second fret up to the seventh you could keep it all like close together if you play it like this but I think it sounds better the other way personally um, <clears throat> so I'll do that a little bit slower just so you can get a better idea of it you only play that first part once in the song anyway but you do play the second part twice I believe so slower it goes like this <laughs> trouble with that just try and do it slow I mean it's definitely a hard riff to learn at first especially if you're a beginner but you know just try and work with the tab that I have and you'll eventually get it it's not gonna be easy at first um, and so get to the actual verse riff and it's actually pretty different from what I expected it to be um, it's a lot of palm muting in it um, it's a lot different from the version in say like the live CD so I'll play it and talk about it afterwards <laughs> that's the first part um, so basically it's just those same four chords that we've been playing the whole time but it's um, got a lot of palm muting in it and then for the last one it uh, just does like a little octave part it does a three on the e and a five on the d that's really all that is um and in the live version it would continue do uh, like that whole thing two more times but in this it does like a little mimic kind of um the bass riff in the beginning where it just goes like this so if you know how to play it on bass it's actually pretty much those same chords um it's well it should be in the tab but um it's like an 11 on the g a 12 on the d a nine on the d or a nine on the g and a seven on the d and then you're just moving up two frets uh, an 11 and a nine and then go down to a five and a seven or a seven and five on the g and the d so it's pretty easy it just goes like this slower shouldn't have too much problem there uh, that's my phone and then um, for the second part it goes like this <laughs> almost the same as the first verse um, riff but instead this one it goes up instead so try not to get messed up with that um, because right after the guitar solo part that I'm going to show you um, that's what he plays afterwards he doesn't go to that first verse riff this one so try not to get mixed up with that that's one thing I always messed up with a lot um, during when I was learning this song when I was a lot younger. Um, one sec. That's enough. Um, <clears throat> so after, that's the, the second verse riff I'm going to call it. And then all you really have is just the little guitar solo part. Um, 
I remember on my, my old lesson video, I fucked up on this pretty bad um, because I couldn't remember how to end any of the little parts, but this is how I play it. I'm not entirely sure how Tom does it, but this is what I've always heard, and it goes like this. <laughs> Pretty much just the same pattern every time. It's um, it's gonna go. So basically, you're starting off on your middle finger, and then you're just doing like a little up and then down with your fingers. So it'll do uh, like a four, five, seven, five on the D. You know that whole thing. It's the same pattern for each of the different parts, um, so as you can see. And what I do is I just pull off onto whatever string I'm on, so if this little part, I'll pull off onto the D, and then if when I go to this one, I just pull off onto the A, because I don't really notice it when I'm playing. Um, if I'm playing like the whole song, I don't really think you're going to hear it. Um, if that's not it, so, um, I mean, you try and tell me if, if it really sounds bad. I'm going to play it right now. I mean, if that's not how you do it, it definitely doesn't sound bad. I mean, I can't be completely sure on it. Um, I've watched a lot of videos of him playing it live, and it's kind of hard to really say what he does play on that little tiny bit if he's just uh, pulling off onto the open string. So um, that's really it for the song. Um, like I said, refer to the tabs as best you can. Um, I tried playing the parts as slow as I could. I can do the last little solo, I, again, I guess, uh, slower. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you got any questions at all, definitely let me know. Um, as I said, I'm going to try and do the whole... Um, the whole Cheshire Cat album from start to finish, meaning I'm going to hopefully do it um, Carousel, then M&M's, then I think it's Fen Tuzler, Touchdown Boy, in order. I'm going to try and do it in order. So yes, that does mean Benoit Balls, Balls will pretty much be last, or very close to last, so sorry about that one. Um, but yes, I will be doing that one. I know I've gotten a lot of requests for that over the years, um, so don't worry about that, um, because I do know how to play that one pretty well now. Um, but that's it for the song um, hopefully I explained it well enough I think I did a pretty good job I know I did talk a lot more than I thought I would but I had to say a lot of things in this video um, that I won't have to say in the later ones just explaining everything that's going on so thanks for watching um, I didn't try and cram everything into 10 minutes like I would have to before because I know I can talk up to like 20 25 minutes whatever so um, like I said thanks for watching I should have the tab. If I don't have the tab up when I post it, just yell at me and I'll I'll bust my ass and try and get it done as quick as I can. So that's it. Hope you like the new guitar. It is absolutely beautiful. It sounds amazing. It sounds better when it's cranked up.